Hello everyone, today I'm going to speak about completion handlers. Uh, what is completion handler in C? Uh, whenever we code, there's always a need for implementing callbacks. So some of them, some people call these callbacks completion handlers. Uh, we will implement completion handlers in Swift using closures. In my previous lectures, I spoke about the uh, closures. Uh, today, I will show uh, completion handlers uh, with the help of closures. In order to show how completion handlers are uh, working, we need to create two functions. Let's pretend that uh, we are creating database class and our own class. Uh, okay, first of all, I'll create database class, class database. Inside database class, uh, I, I will create create user function which takes two parameters username and password both of them will be uh, string uh, let's create function create user which takes two parameter username user, user name string and password string Inside this function, I'm not going to write uh, details of this function. That's why I'm putting here to do some operation. Operation which takes which which takes some time. Okay, the next uh, class will be my class. I'll write here class my class my class. Okay, inside my class, we will create another function, which is a uh, function, for example, sign sign up button pressed, press. it takes uh, it takes no parameter and it doesn't take any parameter and inside this uh, function we will create a reference to database class to call user uh, create user method so let data database is equal to database class so we can call from inside this class database to create user function for now I'll put username test and password let's put one two three four five six so while doing this, uh, while calling this uh, function inside uh, sign up button press, while creating uh, user, it will take some time. Now the problem is uh, create user uh, will take some time to execute and to proceed further. For example, after user registration, application should go to next uh, next screen. To get not notified about the completion of user creation we need completion handler so we need to modify create user function to add extra parameter which accept another function which can be called after consuming process is finished after this operation is finished then we'll call this uh, function to do so let's create another method which will be passed to create user function okay i'll create this method inside my class Let's name it font completed. 
let's put two parameter e success yes it will take boolean full and after user creation it will create user id for that user it, it will be integer so it will print out Says with parameter is success, and we can print out the uh, user ID as well. Print print user ID user ID is. user ID here, user ID, user ID. Now we will add and this now we will add another uh, parameter to the create user function which will accept this function while calling this. So we will put another parameter like this completion completion which accepts two parameters boolean and integer and returns nothing returns void So after creation this uh, parameter, we can refer to this parameter. To do so, we need to uh, specify two variables inside this uh, function. Variable is success. After completion, it will be true. And variable user ID, user ID is equal to one, two, three. Then we'll call this completion 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 is success then user ID now inside create user method after do, doing some time consuming operation completion function is called to notify notify users we need to recall create user function with three parameters inside uh, my class function as you see it's showing that the completion parameter is missing so we need to add here completion parameter as well completion parameter which is calling this function completed function completed function now if we test out let's create an object from my class we will see the the result let's let my class is equal to my class okay my class with lowercase the sign up button is pressed i think it will take some time we will see the Print out as you see after calling this uh, sign up button press uh, this success is returning it shows that it's success true and user ID is one to three the ID that we uh, put it here initialize it here 